All right, we'll do a quick van tour. It's May 14th. We're probably about four days from leaving. Finally got everything done. The last thing we were waiting on was these curtains my mom made. My mom sewed those up. Thanks, mom. Did an awesome job. There's some that you can't see right in here. Cover these windows so we have total blackout. When we sleep in rest stops or we want to be black, I mean, we're going to be in possibly 24 hour sunlight at one point. So what we, this is a 2018 Transit, Ford Transit Connect. It's a long wheelbase because I'm six foot. First thing we did when we came in, put insulation up here and put this uh, siding and then put all the moldings up. Built these cabinets right here. Built the bed platform underneath. Is a lot of storage. Is the battery. Um, built these little custom bins out of three sixteenths plywood and epoxy. So there's plenty of room for clothing, all of our clothes, and other things. Underneath is just storage for all kinds of stuff. Um, I put the video of the windows, putting those in. Those were a nightmare. Put this in. When we got home from our last trip, an extra cabinet. We put these little suckers in here. Mini cabinets, because we were stuffing things in there and they were falling out. So built some little cabinets. Um, this pulls out. Opens up so you can get your feet in there. Toilet. You can both use the toilet. Underneath the clothing will go here. My guitar goes under here. We got stove, another stove, all kinds of books and other items. This is the only thing we haven't finished was we're gonna put some kind of webbing here so we can put our potato chips and stuff. Uh, plates, canned goods, all kinds of stuff goes in there. Pots and pans. Um, that's for gold panning. We figured, you know, we're going to Alaska. Why not gold pan? Anyway, that's that whole curtain assembly that she made. Well, all the curtains are actually totally removable, which is awesome. So, you know, sometimes we don't like curtains. We want to see, look out the windows and see where we're camping if we're in a nice place. Most people don't look in if you're camping. So those are totally removable. Plus, I can get from here, from the cab in here when we're driving, which is nice. I've added all these little bins to put cell phones in. And um, tablets, all kinds of little stuff. I put a 1500 watt inverter under the seat so we can use our Nutribullet and all kinds of other different things. And that's it, it's small. It's a micro camper, but probably gonna get about 25, 26 miles at a gallon, which this summer, huh, we know what that all, we all know the gas prices now. I put an awning on the top. We never even used this on our trip, which is amazing, but it, it didn't really rain. We got the luggage rack, it has all kinds of stuff up there. And then this is new, I built this shower, out of PVC, solar shower, it's pressurized, you just put a little air pressure in it. And it has an opening at the top. And I, could, I have an electric heater element for days when there's no solar power. So built that totally from scratch. And then if you close these doors, I added this new lug cargo carrier on the back. And this, the cooler will go here. This opens up. Gas tank will go there, water tanks, and then this is like for stuff in there. Whatever. My waders, anything that's wet that won't use to dry, any wet clothes, booties can go under there, Gart can hold trash. Uh, last time we had the other one my dad gave me, which was a much cheaper one, but it actually it's actually better built. It just didn't slide open. So if you had to get in the back in these doors, you had to go through a lot of stuff. Now I just pop a pin and it slides out like this. So this is pretty convenient. And that's it. We're ready to go. Four days we're heading north. Um, we're ready to go, pretty much. And... Um, more when we get on the road. 
Oh well, I wanted to do the video in one take, but I wanted to mention my favorite feature of this thing. Five inch gel foam mattress. This thing underneath, this thing was like 80 bucks for the whole thing. This keeps the moisture out from between the bed. A lot of people have complained and said when you get up the northern latitudes, there's a lot of moisture and you get mold. So this keeps all the mold out. But anyway, the mattress is so comfortable. That was one of the biggest things we wanted to get was comfort. It's tiny. It's small in here, but you know, one thing is we've slept in some small places in our lives together. So this is plenty for us. And it, as long as it's cold, we'll be all right. And it should be cold most of the time. 